I mean, it just sucks that he's had so many controversies in his life, but I'm hoping he puts all that shit behind him. They don't survive situations like that. Because they're know? so wild and they're having yeah. a good time too much and they're partying and they're the champ. It has, to, it has to come to an end. That stuff, if you don't um, bring it to an end, it's going to bring it to, it's gonna come to its own end. Most likely that was canceled uh, for numerous reasons that may have been one of them, but the allegations that I'm hearing are that they sold so few tickets that it would be a real problem in terms of like financially to even break even. There's some bad news on the Jake Paul fight versus Mike Tyson. I just make a YouTube video and they, they show their sparring footage, but we do know this is by- The dream matchup between boxing legend Mike Tyson and YouTube star Jake Paul has hit a major roadblock. Following news of Paul canceling the fight slated for this summer, a fired up Tyson took to the internet to deliver a scorching message. The video, which quickly went viral, served as both a critique and a not-so-subtle warning to the young internet personality. When the fight between Tyson and Paul was first announced, it sent shockwaves through the combat sports world. It was a clash of eras, a battle between a living legend, Iron Mike Tyson, whose ferocious punching made him the undisputed heavyweight champion in his prime, and a young, brash internet personality who'd made a name for himself in celebrity boxing matches. While some fans were excited about the novelty of the fight, others questioned its legitimacy. Could a 50-year-old Tyson, despite his recent exhibition bout, recapture the fearsome form that dominated the ring? And could Paul, despite his improvements, hold his own against a heavyweight icon. Now, with the fight seemingly on hold, speculation runs rampant. The official reason for the cancellation remains a mystery. Some reports suggest Paul's team expressed concerns over Tyson's training regime, while others hint at potential financial disagreements. Whatever the reason, it's clear that Tyson isn't taking the news well. In his fiery video message, Tyson didn't hold back. His voice boomed with a mix of disappointment and anger. I trained hard for this fight, Tyson stated, his signature lisp cutting through the tension. Respect this sport, Jake. This ain't child's play. You could practically feel the intensity radiating from the screen. He went on to call out Paul for pulling out, questioning his commitment, and suggesting a lack of respect for the sport of boxing. But the most interesting part came next. Tyson issued a clear warning. If this fight gets rescheduled, he declared, his voice hardening, I'll be in the best shape of my life. It won't last a single round. This was classic Tyson. That competitive fire still burns brightly. This message sent a clear signal. Father time may have taken its toll, but Tyson's fighting spirit remains undimmed. Whether this is the final chapter in the Tyson vs. Paul saga, or just a dramatic plot twist, remains to be seen. There's a chance negotiations can be revived and the fight goes ahead as planned. But one thing is certain, the animosity simmering from this exchange will only add fuel to the fire if they do end up stepping into the ring. With Tyson vowing to be in peak condition, fight fans could be in for a truly explosive night if the fight manages to get back on track. While the buzz surrounding the cancelled Tyson vs. Paul fight is electric, there seems to be some misinformation circulating. News claiming Jake Paul pulled out after a brutal knockout by Tyson in a private sparring session appears to be unfounded. Here's what we know. The fight's cancellation is confirmed, and Tyson certainly isn't happy about it. His recent fiery video message makes that abundantly clear. However, Reports about a knockout sparring session seem more like fight night hype than fact. There's no credible source verifying such a session, and frankly, it wouldn't be a wise move for either team to leak details of a private training session. The real reason for the cancellation remains murky. Some reports suggest Paul's team had concerns about Tyson's training methods, while others hint at potential financial disagreements. Whatever the reason, it's clear there's some tension between the camps. While the knockout rumor might be exciting for fight fans, it's best to stick to verified sources for information. There's still a chance the fight could be renegotiated, and with the animosity simmering after the cancellation, it could be an even more explosive event if it happens. There you go! <laughs>
Day three, you still want to with me? The saga surrounding the canceled fight between boxing legend Mike Tyson and YouTube star Jake Paul continues to be a whirlwind of speculation and surprise. After the initial shock of the cancellation wore off, Paul himself emerged with an explanation that left many scratching their heads. Remember the anticipation, the prospect of a clash between eras, the battle-hardened Iron Mike Tyson, a living legend, and a young internet personality who'd carved a niche for himself in celebrity boxing matches. It was a fight that promised an explosive spectacle. But then came the news. The fight was off. Now, with Paul offering his side of the story, we're getting a glimpse into his thought process behind the sudden change of plan. In a recent interview, Paul offered a reason for pulling out that seemed to contradict his usual bravado. Facing Iron Mike in the ring was something I genuinely looked forward to, he admitted. But after getting down to brass tacks and really thinking about what it means to step into the ring with a legend like that, I realized I needed a break from boxing. This sentiment, coming from the brash persona Paul has cultivated online, caught many off guard. Here was a fighter known for his confidence and swagger, expressing a newfound respect for the dangers and demands of the sport. Paul went on to elaborate, revealing a personal side many weren't expecting. Life throws unexpected punches, you know, he said, a hint of vulnerability in his voice. Recently, I became a father. Stepping away from the ring to focus on my family feels like the right decision at this point in my life. This revelation added a new layer to the story. Here's a young man who achieved internet fame, took the boxing world by storm with his celebrity boxing matches, and now seems ready to prioritize his family life. Was this a genuine shift in Paul's priorities? or a strategic move to deflect criticism about the cancellation, only time will tell. The jury's still out on whether this is a genuine shift in Paul's priorities or a calculated move to manage the fallout from the fight's cancellation. There's also the lingering question of the fight itself. Could negotiations be revived with Paul returning to the ring after some time off? Or is this the official end of the much-hyped Tyson vs. Paul saga? One thing is certain, the back and forth between Tyson's fiery message and Paul's unexpected announcement has kept fight fans on the edge of their seats. While the future of the fight remains uncertain, the drama surrounding it has ensured that this story is far from over. It will be interesting to see if this is truly the last round for this unusual matchup, or if there's another plot twist waiting in the wings. Paul's interview, however, wasn't all about fatherhood and introspection. There was still a flicker of the old bravado beneath the surface. Don't get me wrong, he said, a mischievous glint in his eye. This doesn't mean I've lost my edge. In fact, training for this fight took me to a whole new level. Mike Tyson might be a legend, but let's be honest, he's not getting any younger. If this fight had gone ahead, he would have been the one lying on the canvas looking up at the lights. This statement, dripping with a subtle arrogance, seemed to contradict his earlier claims about needing a break from the sport. It was a reminder that the competitive fire that propelled him to internet fame still burns brightly. Whether this was simply Paul maintaining his online persona or a genuine belief in his own abilities, it certainly added another layer to the story. Here was a fighter seemingly stepping away from the spotlight, yet simultaneously throwing a playful jab at his legendary opponent. One has to wonder how Tyson reacted to Paul's comments. Did he see it as a desperate attempt to save face after the cancellation, or perhaps a veiled threat, a promise of a future showdown when Paul returns to the ring? The back and forth between these two figures, one a boxing legend, the other a YouTube prodigy, has certainly captured the public's imagination. Whether this is the end of the Tyson vs. Paul saga or merely a dramatic pause before the next round, one thing remains clear. This fight, on or off, has generated a level of buzz that few matchups could ever hope to match. The story may have taken an unexpected turn, but it's far from over. The fighting world eagerly awaits to see if this is truly the final bell, or if there's another chapter waiting to be written in this bizarre, captivating fight saga. Well, then what's going on with you guys? Because the last episode on here, there was shit talk back and forth. He was saying stuff about you on Twitter. You called him. There was more shit talk. Has there, have you guys talked anymore? Is that actually a fight that could happen? I think it could happen as like an exhibition, probably. Just because you could. But I think he wait. thinks that he would win, and I would love to just like inf def deflate his little. 130 pounds. So
That's the only way it could happen, right? His exhibition just for the weight. Yeah. And his footwork sucks. Like once I'm learning more about the sport, it's like he's fast and quick and been doing it his whole life, obviously, but his feet oh, are a terrible part. He got flat footed, stuck, stuck. Says you're gonna get knocked the fuck out on July. Oh, when he has. oh you really geez. that. Um Here's the thing, man. Uh, you know, Iron Mike Tyson. I love you for free. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there comes a point yeah, in time yeah. where you got to be realistic and you might be taking a big bite of his ear. God damn no. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to see. I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see. Surrounding the canceled fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul just took a dramatic turn for the worse. After Paul's interview claiming a shift in priorities towards family and a playful jab at Tyson's age, Iron Mike has responded with a legal uppercut. News broke today that Tyson's team has filed a hefty lawsuit against Paul, exceeding a staggering $300 million. Remember the initial shock of the canceled fight? The reasons remained unclear, with speculation swirling about training concerns and financial disagreements. Then came Paul's interview, offering a surprising explanation, a desire to focus on his newborn child and a newfound respect for the dangers of boxing. While some saw a genuine shift in priorities, others detected a hint of bravado beneath the surface, particularly in his comment about leaving Tyson lying on the canvas. Now Tyson has thrown his own punch in the fight, albeit a legal one. The $300 million lawsuit reportedly cites lost revenue, breach of contract, and damage to reputation. This aggressive move sends a clear message. Tyson isn't taking the cancellation lightly. In a statement released by his legal team, Tyson himself addressed the lawsuit. I trained hard for this fight, the statement reads, his signature lisp echoing through the words. I dedicated myself to putting on a show for the fans. This lawsuit sends a message. There are consequences for disrespecting the sport and backing out of a commitment. This statement underscores Tyson's seriousness. He sees the cancellation not just as a financial loss, but as a personal affront to the sport of boxing and his own legendary status. With this lawsuit on the table, the future of the Tyson vs. Paul fight becomes even more uncertain. Will the two sides find a way to resolve the legal dispute and salvage the fight? Or will this lawsuit mark the definitive end of this much-hyped matchup? One thing is for sure, the back and forth between these two figures continues to captivate the public. Whether it's Tyson's ferocious reputation or Paul's internet celebrity status, the fight has captured the imagination of fight fans and casual observers alike. This lawsuit adds yet another layer of drama to the saga, leaving everyone wondering, will they ever step into the ring? or will this be the final bell in the legal battleground? The plot thickens further in the saga of the canceled Tyson vs. Paul fight. While the $300 million lawsuit against Paul simmers in the legal system, a fired-up Mike Tyson seems to be channeling his fighting spirit into a new, perhaps unexpected, direction. Remember the initial disappointment surrounding the fight's cancellation? Then came the surprise of Paul's interview and Tyson's subsequent lawsuit. Now, in a recent interview, Tyson himself has dropped a bombshell. The fire still burns, he declared, his voice brimming with a familiar intensity. Training for the Paul fight reignited my passion for the sport. I may be older, but I still feel like the youngest lion in the jungle. This statement marks a significant shift. While the lawsuit addressed the financial loss and disrespect he felt from Paul, this new declaration hints at a deeper motivation. Here's a boxing legend, seemingly fueled by the training regimen for the cancelled fight, yearning to prove himself once again. Tyson didn't stop there. He went on to make a bold statement, one that sent shockwaves through the boxing world. I'm officially announcing my return to heavyweight boxing, he proclaimed. My sights are set on the title. There's a new champion out there, and I'm coming for him. The world will witness Iron Mike back in the ring, hungrier than ever. This announcement was met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. Can a 50-year-old Tyson, despite his recent training, truly compete with the current crop of heavyweight champions? Or is this simply a publicity stunt to overshadow the ongoing lawsuit? What do you think about the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight that's coming? I think it's awesome. First of all, he's Mike Tyson. I could watch videos of him training all the time. There are a few athletes, him being one, where their highlight reel gets my card. Where I'm like, what the?
But if you're Jake Paul, you feel good about beating a 57-year-old Mike Tyson. You think he's going to win? Do you think Jake Paul is the favorite? No, I'm just saying. If Jake Paul does happen to win, does he really feel good about beating a 57? I would feel. I really would. Well, let me ask you this. You dominated a very similar era. You're younger than him. Do you think that Tyson can knock his out? Uh, I know he can. If he walks out like old Mike Tyson with the music and the hood up. Forget. Hold on, hold on. Both of y'all forgetting two words. Father, time. You're being real negative, Ray. I'm not being real. I'm just saying, like, if, if, if we could all do it, I'd still be playing.